the Ravens won, and Ray Lewis did great. Let's see what they said on ESPN. Ray Lewis, torn tricep, he is out for the year. So very latest, Ray Lewis done for the year with the torn tricep injury. What? This can't be good news to a team that struggled to stop the run the last two weeks, and now we have Ray Lewis confirmed done for the year with a torn tricep. I actually think the bigger void isn't necessarily what he, you know, they're going to miss from him on the field. It's, it's the leadership. It's the way he prepares each and every week throughout the week of practice, the preparation, especially for a defense that's already uh, been missing Terrell Suggs for the beginning part of the season. So to me, I think they're going to miss that more than just the production of his play on the field. Yeah, and I was there when Ray Lewis was a rookie, and I remember in his first camp, he comes out and he took control of that defense, and it was impressive. And the thing about Ray Lewis is he's a force multiplier. He makes the people around him play better. He affects so many people that you, you can't replace that. And he, he was just such a special guy from the first time he stepped on the field. Right, so, again, Lewis now done for the year with the torn tricep injury. I just got this jersey! Darius Webb, the cornerback they paid all the money to, also now done for the year. And, of course, Haloti Nada, uh, they think there might be some issues with his knee as well. But those two cornerstone players are done. The question now is whether or not this will be the end of it. Uh, let's go back to ESPN insider Adam Schefter here. Adam, what more can you add to us here on the devastating injury news to a, to a team that's 5-1? and one? Well, Trey, it's a complete tear. And so now you have to wonder about Ray Lewis's future. There are questions already about whether or not this would be his final season in the NFL. He's got a son that's going to go to school at the University of Miami next year that he wanted to watch play football. You have to wonder whether Ray Lewis will be willing to end his career with an injury in the final game he will have played will have come against the Dallas Cowboys. But the fact that he's out for the year could very well mean that he's done for a career. And as we said earlier, that would wrap up one of the great careers in NFL history of one of the top defensive players who's ever played the game. It'll be up to Ray Lewis to decide. I think that most people who knew Ray Lewis thought that this would probably be his last year, but ultimately only he can make that decision. And obviously there's other injury news with the Baltimore Ravens. Ladarius Webb has that torn ACL. He was their best cornerback, signed a $50 million contract extension during the offseason. That's a major blow to Baltimore secondary. Haloti Nada does have a tear in his medial collateral ligament in his knee, but it's not considered serious. He finished the game yesterday against the Dallas Cowboys, and he is likely to play on Sunday against the Houston Texans, even with that tear in his knee. All right, Adam, thanks for the update. And I guess if you're looking for any good news, if you're a Baltimore Ravens fan or in that front office or on that roster right now, I guess that's the best news. They expect Haloti Nada to be okay. Do you think Sunday was the last game we've seen in Ray Lewis's career? You know, I find it hard that, that a, and listen, everyone's situation is so unique in, in, you know, what motivates their decisions. You know, sometimes it is family. Other times it's money. Other times they don't know what to do next. Um, I would find it hard to believe for a guy who played with so much passion, so much love for the game, not to end it on his own terms. That would surprise me. Um, but he's also played a really long time, and I'm sure he's got other aspirations outside of just playing the game. Yeah, I agree with you. I'd be disappointed if this is, this is his last game. And the one thing about Ray Lewis is he seems to continually reinvent himself. So this year he lost all the weight because about he wanted – 20 pounds. 20 pounds because he wanted to be able to play sort of in the, in the new parameters of, of how offenses were, were attacking. And Ray seems a little bit timeless. He, he seems like he's the type of guy, if someone could come back and play another year at a productive level – it's a guy like Ray Lewis. Now, whether or not he makes that decision, I'm not sure. They, he's got a tremendous future ahead of him no matter what he chooses, but it just seems like he's going to want to go out on, on his terms. Well, the one thing you can say about Ray, his enthusiasm and energy for the game has not waned from his rookie season to now, and that's what you were talking about, and you were both talking about the inspirational factor. If that energy level is still there, you have to believe perhaps he's going to try and find a way to come back. You're also talking about coming back from, uh, just from the injury perspective, coming back from a torn tricep is an easier task than coming back from a blown out Say knee. Say rehabbing a knee, yeah. There's no doubt about it. And so I think from that regard, the motivation to rehab and get ready to play uh, and what that'll take – I mean, he certainly can handle that. Look, here's what we know. He's done for the year. It's a torn tricep. Whatever he decides at some point will be what he does going forward. If you're a football fan, you're still <laughs> Certainly want to yeah. see Ray Lewis out there for as long as he possibly can.